and welcome back to my channel. So first off, if you want to see this makeup look, I did film it. I don't know if it's up before this or after this. If it is up, I'll have it linked down in the description box below for you. But today's video is going to be an updated holy grail brushes video. Basically what that means is I'm going to be going through all of my holy grail brushes, sponges, etc. Um, and really show you guys the type of brushes that I like to use that are not too expensive. I have done one of these videos in the past. This one is updated. I've started using uh, different brushes. Some of them are repeats, but a lot of them are new discovered brushes. Um, the way that I'm going to break this up is I'm going to start with sponges and talk about those and then we're going to go into eye brushes and then end with face brushes. This is one that I have here. This is by Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio sponge. You guys know that I love these. I talk about them all the time. They're a dollar on Shop Miss A's website. At this point, I don't think anybody really needs to spend $20 on a beauty blender. I've said this before. This is super soft. This is not wet, by the way. Um, it's super soft. You you can get it for a dollar online and I really really like it. Another alternative that I have is the Real Techniques. This is dirty and wet. It is damp because um, I just use this for my makeup. So this is like five dollars at Walmart. It is really good. It I love the edge that they have on it. This is a really good alternative as well to this one. This is the L'Oreal. This is the concealer sponge. Um, I use this. It really helps to get right under the eyes when you're doing your concealer or even using this for powder to really make sure that you're setting well. I really, really like this. Okay, so we're jumping into eye brushes. I want to start off with the eyebrow brush that I have been using lately. This is by She Cosmetics. This is the brow spoolie brush. I bought this on shopmissa.com if you guys did not see my haul. This is just a perfect little brow brush. It is long enough to where you have control and it is thin enough to where it makes nice brow strokes and looks natural. Um, now we're going to hop into some blending brushes. This is one that I love. This was in my last video. This is the Moda Pro Blending Brush. A lot of the times you'll see me go in with this first just to put in my transition shade. It's also really good if you want to keep it clean to just blend out the edges. I love this brush. It is tapered a little bit at the top, but it is very um, fluffy as well. Again, this is by Moda Pro. I love this brush. I love Moda Pro brushes. I think this is a really, really good blending brush if you're looking for a good one. The next blending brush I have to talk about is this one. This is by Alamar Cosmetics. You guys see me use this all the time with the green handle here. This one is the one that I do keep clean at all times, and I really just use this to kind of buff out the edges on my eye. I feel like it blends stuff out in like a snap. It is so easy. It's very soft, so fluffy up here, which really helps to blend it out and buff it out. Um, I personally really, really like this brush. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something just to really buff out the edges of your eyeshadow. If you're having trouble blending, I think something like this might really work well for you. Um, okay, these next two brushes came in the same kit. These are Lexi brushes. Um, this one is 229 and this one is 205. They are a tad bit different. The 205 is a little bit bigger than the 229, but they are very similar in shape. Um, I like these both basically for the same reason. Alright, going in with some more Luxie brushes. I have these three. This actually came in a set of four. I can't really find my other one. Sorry, I cannot tell you. Um, but these are the little mini brushes. I also got these in my boxy charm. Now, this flat tip one, I actually like it because it is so tiny. It is very easy to get in there where you really want to darken up the color because you have a lot of control with it being a short handle. I really, really like using this for any detail work close to the lash line. And basically, these two I like both for the same reason, which is like blending an outer corner. Like really, they're really, really nice because they're flat, but they're also fluffy at the top. So you can pack on the color and then blend it out all with the same brush. And it is super easy. Plus, again, you gain a lot of control with it being a short handle. So the other Alamar Cosmetics brushes that I have here are that like packing brush and then this flat top one right here. I love this one. Um, I use this one in conjunction with my other one. This one is more for like eyeliner or stuff like that where I'm not smudging and like trying to get up close. This is a really really nice brush. It is super thin and I love it for that. This is a like all over the lid shimmer shade kind of 
brush. I absolutely love this. It is a little bit small in my opinion, but I do really, really like it. Okay, next we're going in to another AOA Studio brush. This is Shop Miss A E122. This is just a flat brush. I absolutely love this for just packing on color. I use this with the Alamar Cosmetics one, but this one is a little bit um, thicker. You can see it is really nice, super flat, and gets the color on there so well. And I really, really like this. Plus, again, it is only a dollar. These have been by far, like, the best addition to my collection in a while. I'm not going to lie. Um, these, I'm not sure what collection this is. I'm so sorry. But these all are Luxie. They're the ones with the gold handles here. Um, I'll tell you each of the names. This one I like to use just for detail blending. This is really good for getting like right in your crease but when you want to kind of keep the color together. I like to use this a lot for when I'm working with color like I use this today as you can tell um, because it really just keeps everything together but blends it out so well. This one I like to use just on my lower lash line. This one is so good for that. This is the mini angled one. I just like to use this just to buff any color out on my lower lash line. It works really easy, super soft. The angled one that I use here is when I'm really, really trying to focus a dark color on my outer um, corner. I use this a lot for like black or dark browns or stuff like that where I just pack it on there and then I go in with a, another brush and kind of blend it out where I don't want that color to get everywhere and it's angled so it fits into that pocket right there in your crease. So good. I absolutely love it. This one, if you remember in my old video, I did not mention this one. I mentioned another one for this purpose, but this is now my new inner corner highlight brush. Um, basically what I mean by that is this is what I use to brighten up my inner corner. I only use that for this. It's perfect. It fits in there perfectly. The dome shape really packs on the shimmer and I like a super bright inner corner so this works very well for me honestly um, I love this a lot it has been my go-to for my inner corner since I got it this is the Royal and Lay Nickel Balm 18 detail brush this is just a very short brush as you see right there it is short it is very soft I like to use this to smudge eyeliner or I like to use it on the bottom lash line to smudge out um, eyeshadow and really blend stuff close to the lash line. Okay, so this is the last eye brush that I have. This is the AOA Studio 113 brush. This is a big flat shader brush. Basically, the only thing that I use this for is applying my eye primer. I have one in like a pot and this is what I use just because it is flat. It is huge so it covers a lot of my lid space at one time so I can get it done quick. I really, really like this for that. Um, so this is a recent addition to my collection. This is the Moda Pro. I don't even know what this is called because it doesn't say it. I got this in my last BoxyCharm if you guys saw that. Actually, I have the box literally right here. So powder and soft glow. So this is obviously the powder brush if you guys saw that in my video. This is my only powder brush that I have that's like big and fluffy like this. And basically that's why I am including it is just because it is a super nice brush plus the handle is really cute. This is a, another powder brush that I use. This is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. Basically I use this mostly for under the eye setting. It is really good for precise setting. I actually really like this and I believe it is only like three dollars at Walmart. So super cheap, super good. This is my preferred all over the face bronzing brush. This is the BMX 130 pointed blush brush. This is by Moda Pro. I don't use this for blush. I use it for bronzer. As you can see, it is brown. I used it today. This is not good for contouring. This is good for all over bronzing. If you want a bronzy look, it is very big. It is super fluffy. It is so soft. I absolutely love this. Again, love Moda Pro brushes. This is awesome. And I've used it for bronzer since I got it. Um, next, I have my like contour or like very precise bronzing brush because I don't really contour, but if I do want to do something like that, this is what I use. This is the Lexi 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Don't use this for highlighter, I use it for bronzer. It just fits really well into the side of the cheek when you need to chisel it out and I feel like it's super fluffy so it blends it out really well without making it too muddy and like too much. This brush right here is the Lexi 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. I use this to 
brush away bake or to brush away like any fallout or anything like that it's super thin super tapered doesn't have a lot of hair so it just is so soft and easy now i have two highlighting brushes yeah, so my first one here is the wet n wild p75 brush you guys have seen this a trillion times before this is my favorite or one of my favorite highlighting brushes this is more okay i'm just gonna put both of these up here this is the aoa studio f19 brush highlighting brush um basically i use these both for highlighters both for kind of different reasons as you can see they're two different shapes this wet and wild one i feel like disperses the product very large and like kind of everywhere and not really precise Whereas this one is very precise and you can really figure out exactly where you want your highlight to go. A lot of times I'll go in with this one with like a less pigmented highlight and I'll go wherever I want to go. And then I'll go in with this brush with a more pigmented highlight and just kind of hit the top of the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, and then you're good to go. And it just gives you that extra pop. Woo! I feel like I'm out of breath. I don't know how long it took me to film. I feel like I just sped through those so quickly. Basically, that is the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you all subscribe before you leave. And I will just catch you all in my next video. Bye! Bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desire